Hello and welcome to today's Illustrator CS5 tutorial. Today's tutorial will explain how to build a glossy orb. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is uh, uh, create a new file in Illustrator. Uh, once you've done that, uh, basically all we need to do is um, grab the ellipse tool and you hold down the shift key and that'll constrain it keep everything nice and even we can go over here and turn off the stroke and we'll apply a fill to it uh, you can do pretty much any color you you would you would want to start with um, basically the the trick here is to kind of do a light to dark uh, kind of effect um, so we'll just go with um, say a dark green for now We'll go ahead and move that over. Uh, we'll hold down the Option key and copy this. And now we'll put a lighter green in the fill. You want to make this one quite a bit smaller uh, than the original. Uh, highlight both circles. You want to center uh, horizontally. Once you've centered horizontally uh, in Illustrator, uh, you can click on your blend tool which is right over here or you can hit the W key and once you've done that or I'm sorry excuse me you want to highlight both uh, circles first to click the blend tool you want to get the point in the center of the small circle to the big one there at the top and as you can see you kinda of have a a blending effect. If you do the uh, direct selection tool you can actually move this around and kind of do some fun stuff with it but for right now we just kind of want to leave it uh, where we had it down there kind of at the bottom uh, towards the middle. Uh, the next step uh, is to create another circle. Hold the shift down to constrain. You can kind of make this one any size you want for now. Uh, because what we're going to do is actually put this over the, the two that we've created there. Uh, the key part of this tutorial, you can go ahead and make it black. The key part of this tutorial is actually in the black itself. So you want to highlight the black over here in your swatches, uh, the one at the top, and then you click on New Swatch. Uh, basically what we want to do here is take all these values. Um, make sure you're working in CMYK mode. Uh, you want to take all these values and bump them up to 100 and you want to click OK and you can kind of move that down to where you can remember um, you can name it something like uh, all black just something so you know that that's that's the one that we're gonna choose um, so at this point what we want to do is actually do a gradient fill um, inside the uh, sphere that we just created or circle however you want to call it uh, you want to make the angle of that negative 90. So basically what we want to do here is double click that. We want to change that to the new black that we just created. Okay. So once we've done that, you can just kind of leave that as is if you want for now. And then we're going to go over here to our transparency. Under transparency, we're going to change this to screen. And then we'll move this over. And you'll see that now you kind of have a little glossy effect that kind of goes over our orb that we created or the two circles you can now call it an orb I guess because uh, that's kind of what it looks like so uh, you can uh, you know finagle the opacity if you want you can kind of go up and down on it just to see uh, what works best for you if you want to give it a really shiny look uh, you know leave it at a hundred um, so the key of this whole tutorial is uh, and you can actually bring this up to kind of give it uh, more of an elliptical feel. You know the key to this tutorial is actually the black. Um, the blend you could do or not do um, just kind of show you what it looks like without it. You still get that uh, glossy effect with this with this part here. So uh, basically what you're wanting to make sure you do when you try this is to make sure you create the new black um, in the CMYK values all of those need to be up to 100. Um, and you can actually copy this and you could do several 
uh, different colors if you wanted to. You could actually go in and pull in a different couple reds if you needed to and uh, change the colors pretty easily and pretty quickly. Uh, so this is kind of a cool way if you're doing some web 2.0 stuff you know this is kind of a cool way for you to remember how to get that gloss effect um, if that's what you're going after. So that's it for the uh, glossy orb tutorial uh, for Illustrator CS5. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials uh, here periodically.